Blog Talk Radio. Read it. Verse 12. Amos chapter 8, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And they shall wander from sea to sea. That means you're going from this place to this place. Well, let me go over here. Oh, he's down. of the Gathering of Christ Church right here on Let's Talk, brought to you by the Men in Power Radio Show. Just want to let you know that you can hear the Gathering of Christ Church four nights a week. All you got to do is go to Blog Talk Radio and go to G-O-C-C-H-U-R-C-H right here on Blog Talk Radio. I apologize that we were not on the air when the uh, intro music stopped. But uh, just want to let you know, you are listening to Let's Talk, brought to you by the Men Empowered Organization, right here on Blog Talk Radio Network. We will go ahead and get into the book of Jasher, chapter 32, momentarily. But before we get started, we want to go ahead and play this week's commentary right here on uh, the Let's Talk show, brought to you by the... WJMG FM 92.1 right here in Laurel and Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Right here, this is this week's commentary on WJMG. Welcome to this edition of the Men in Power commentary right here on the Pine Belt's original Urban FM. It is Thursday, July the 7th, 2013. My name is Brother Malachi of the Men Empowered Organization. As always, we wish to thank Mr. Vernon C. Floyd and his staff for inviting us here to share with you absolute knowledge and truth. We can be reached at 601-297-2923. 
727 and online at menempowered to prosper at yahoo.com. And our web address is www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash menempowered. These days, it is very important to know knowledge and truth. Without it, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, the first half says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You may one day or getting ready to shop for a new Bible as you take it to your fellowship or church. I hope you do not hear this coming from your pastor and that it is to get a NIV Bible or a New International Version Bible. What does the word translate mean? It means an act, process, or instance of translating as a rendering from one language into another. So King James was translated from Hebrew to English so that the English-speaking people may understand the words a person is saying. When you hear President Putin of Russia speaking to the people of the United Nations or to any country, you will normally hear a translator speak his words in our own language, word for word. With that in mind, you know that the King James Bible should read word for word as it was written in the original language. If you want to know word for word what the Most High said to his prophets, you will not understand them fully in the NIV. Let's take a look at this so-called Bible of today saying it is a lot easier to read. How can that be if you are missing information that is listed in the King James Bible? Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 is deleted in the NIV. But let's start at verse 14 to get the understanding of the story that is being told. This is coming from the King James Bible. And when they were come to the multitudes, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him, saying, verse 15, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vest, for oft times he falleth into the fire and often into the water. Verse 16, and I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Verse 17, then Christ answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. Verse 18, and Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Verse 19, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Verse 20, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. You will notice that the importance of prayer and fasting, if you do not have that, you will not have the success that Christ is talking about. And in the NIV, Matthew chapter 17, verse 21 has been deleted. Without this, you will not have success. Just as you are making a cake without milk and eggs, 
you will not have a cake. You must follow the outline plan that Christ mentioned in order to have good success in spiritual warfare, etc. Let's take a look at what else is missing from the NIV. I will give you a few, and if you have an NIV, you need to see this for yourself. And if you do have an NIV, you need to stay with the King James Version. After I read this, you will see what I mean. Here are just a few verses that is missing. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11 in the NIV. You have verse 10, then verse 12, it reads, For the Son of Man comes to save that which was lost. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a translation. This is a mistranslation of the scripture when the whole verse is gone. I just read Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. Once again, this is missing out of the NIV. In your NIV, we go now to Matthew chapter 23, verse 14. Now, in the NIV, it reads verses 13, and then it jumps to verse 15. But ask yourself, why would they delete verse 14, and many other scriptures that I'm about to read. Matthew chapter 23, verses 14. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Why would that be deleted? Let's take a look at other scriptures that is missing from the NIV. Mark chapter 7, verse 16. Mark chapter 9, verses 44 and 46. Mark chapter 15, and verses 28. Mark chapter 11, and verse 26. Luke chapter 17, and verse 36. Luke chapter 23 and verse 17. John chapter 5 and verse 4. Acts chapter 8 and verse 37. Acts chapter 15 and verse 34. Acts chapter 24 and verse 7. Acts chapter 28 and verse 29. Romans chapter 16, verse 24. These are just a few that I have mentioned that is missing or deleted from the NIV Bible. Now that you see all of this, you now know that the King James Bible is the best. The powers that be want you not to have success in your walk with the Most High by getting you off track and making sure that Hosea chapter 4, 6 is working in your life. And it reads, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The views and opinions of this commentary is strictly of the Men Empowered Organization and not the opinion of this radio station. My name is Brother Malachi, and this is our commentary. Shalom. And we are back right here with the book of Jasher. We're getting ready to get started in the book of Jasher, chapter 32. For all the newcomers that are joining us for the very first time, just want to let you know the book of Jasher is mentioned in Joshua, chapter 10, verse 13. The book of Jasher is mentioned in the book of Joshua, chapter 10, verse 13. Ask yourself this. If Joshua meditated and read the book of Jasher, and he explains what he read in the book of Jasher, like I said in the NIV, why is the book of Jasher deleted? 
Well, you are about to find out as we read the book of Jasher. We're now in the book of Jasher, chapter 32. Just want to let you know the book of Genesis uh, accounts chapter 32 of the book of Jasher. You can go and read in Genesis chapter 32. It won't be verbatim, but it will be pretty close to it. Uh, like I said, uh, you've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John give you all different accounts of Christ the Messiah, Yeshua, uh, Yeshara. It tells about his walk from those particular disciples. Also, the book of Jasher tells you and gives you more of a, a broad detail of the book of Genesis. Genesis is 50 chapters. The book of Jasher is 90 chapters. So we are now in the book of Jasher, chapter 32, and verse 1. And at that time, Jacob sent messengers to his brother Esau toward the land of Seir, and he spoke to him words of supplication. Verse 2, and he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye say to the Lord to Esau, Thus said thy servant Jacob. Let not my Lord imagine that my father's blessing with which he did bless me has proved beneficial to me. Verse 3 of the book of Jasher, chapter 32. For I have been these 20 years with Laban, and he deceived me and changed my wages 10 times as it has been all been already told unto my Lord. Now, when Jacob explains this to his servants, I believe, Jacob saying he was deceived by Laban. And just as he deceived his father saying that he was Esau, he sold that seed. And therefore, the seed is being sold right back to him in that particular arena. Verse 4. And I served him in his house very lavishly. And the Most High afterwards saw my affliction, my labor, and the work of my hand. And he caused me to find grace and favor in his sight. Verse 5. And I afterward towards God's grace, grace, excuse me, great mercy and kindness acquired oxen and asses and cattle and men servants and maid servants. Verse 6, and now I am coming to my land and my home to my father and mother who are in the land of Canaan, and I have sent to let my Lord know all this in order to find favor in the sight of my Lord, so that he may not imagine that I have of myself attained wealth or that the blessing with which my father blessed me has benefited me. Verse 7, And those messengers went to Esau and found him on the borders of the land of Edom, going toward Jacob. And 400 men of the children of Seir and the Horites were standing with drawn swords. Now, how intimidated would you be when you see drawn swords. Verse 8, and the messengers of Jacob told Esau all the words that Jacob had spoken to them concerning Esau. Verse 9, and Esau answered them with pride and contempt and said unto them, surely I have heard and truly it has been told unto me what Jacob has done to Laban. If I'm pronouncing it right, y'all just got to forgive me on that. Who exalted him in his house and gave him his daughters for wives. And he begat sons and daughters and abundantly increased in wealth and riches in Laban's house through his means. Verse 10. And when he saw that his wealth was abundant and his riches great, he fled with all belongings to him from Laban's house, and he led Laban's daughters away from the face of their fathers, as captives taken by the sword without telling him of it. Verse 
11. And not only did Laban his has Jacob done thus, but also unto me has he done so, and has twice supplet, uh, supplanted me. And shall I be silent? Verse 12. Now, therefore, I have this day come with my camps to meet him, and I will do unto him according to the desires of my heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 13. And the messengers returned and came to Jacob and said unto him, We came to thy brother to eat to Esau, and we told him of thy words. And thus has he answered us, and behold, he cometh to meet thee with four hundred men. Four hundred men. Now, what would you think going on in your mind if you knew that four hundred Hundred men of Esau was coming to meet you. Verse four, and you remember the words that he said in the beginning when he found out that his brother Jacob took his blessing. He said, <coughs> "Excuse me, I'm going to bury my father, and then I'm going to kill my brother." Because he knew this from his mother. Verse 14. Now then know and see what thou shalt do, and pray before the Most High to deliver thee from him. Verse 15. And when he heard the words of his brother, which he had spoken to the messengers of Jacob, Jacob was greatly afraid, and he was distressed. Verse 16, and Jacob prayed to the Most High, his God, and he said, O Lord, my God of my father Abraham, Isaac, thou didst say unto me when I went away from my father's house, saying, verse 17, I am the Most High of thy father, Abraham, and the God of Isaac. Unto thee do I give thee this land and thy seed after thee, and I will make thy seed as the stars of heaven, and thou shalt spread forth to the four sides of heaven, and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. I got to read that again. Verse 17, I am the Lord thy God of the father of Abraham and the God of Isaac unto thee. Do I give this land, all right? First we know that he's going to give land, okay? And thy seed after thee, okay? We know all of a sudden that this land and he's going to have a seed. That came for the 12 tribes of Israel plus Diana coming from Jacob, all right? Let's move on. And I will make thy seed as the stars of heaven. All right. It's going to be a multitude of seed that is coming from the 12 tribes of Israel. And we do know that. And we know the present day who the 12 children of Israel and their descendants are. And thou shalt spread forth to the four sides of heaven. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Wow. Because of Christ coming from the lead tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, the entire world is blessed if they partake of the laws that the children of Israel teach. First the Jew, then the Gentiles. Y'all remember that? Verse 18, and thou didst establish thy words and did give unto me riches and children and cattle as the utmost wishes of my heart. Did thou give unto thy servants? Thou didst give unto me all that I asked from thee so that I lacked nothing. 
This brother didn't lack nothing. He had it all. And now, because of his sight, you got to walk by faith and not by sight, he sees in the flesh his enemies. But he's reminding the Most High the promise that he made of him, plus he's also building himself up in the word, the word that was spoken of him, and the promise. Verse 19, and thou didst afterwards say unto me, return to thy parents and to thy birthplace, and I will still do well with thee. Verse 20, and now that I have come, and thou didst deliver me from Laban, I shall fall in the hands of Esau, who will slay me, yea, together with the mother of my children. Verse 21, now therefore, O God of the Most High, deliver me, I pray thee, also from the hands of my brother Esau, for I am greatly afraid of him. Verse 22, and if there is no righteous in me, do it for the sake of Abraham and my father Isaac. Oh, I got to look at this up. Look, 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 look. This brother, <laughs> he put a fleece out. You know, if you back in Christianity, you know what that would mean. If you didn't know what was the will, you would put a fleece out. Because he said this right here. He said he, he's making a check of himself to let him know that if I'm not right, then do it for the sake of Abraham and Isaac. Uh, in verse 22, he said, and if there is no righteousness in me, do it for the sake of Abraham and my father Isaac, because they carried the promise. They carried the seed. They know what the Most High God said to them, and they instilled it in Jacob himself. And so Jacob is reminding the Most High, just in case I am not found righteous in your sight, do it for Abraham and Isaac, because I know they were righteous in your sight. That's what uh, bro, bro, bro man is saying on that. Verse 23, for I know that through kindness and mercy have I acquired this wealth. Now, therefore, I beseech thee to deliver me this day with thy kindness and to answer me. Verse 24, and Jacob ceased praying to the Most High, and he divided the people that were with him with the flocks and cattle into two camps, and he gave the half of the care of Damask, the son of Elzior, Abraham's servant, for a camp with his children, and the other half he gave to the care of his brother Elinus, the son of Eleazar, to be for a camp with his children. You know what that reminds me of? You just kind of playing it safe. When I was in the uh, Army National Guard, my sister, my blood sister, and I were in the same unit. Now, because we were brother and sisters, just in case one plane went down when we went to go to summer camp in Virginia, uh, leaving Pine Belt Airport, just in case we don't lose that entire seed that came out of my mother, uh, well, you know, my sister was not the seed, but you know what I'm talking about, we were family. They divided the family up. Two herons, my real, my government name, two herons can't be on the same plane. So in case of an accident, the family of my mother and father will at least have one child left uh, that came back from that military. They're not thinking the odds of two planes going down. But if one goes, somebody is going, but not both of them. Uh, so that's why the military did that. And you've probably seen the movie uh, Saving Private Ryan, where uh, they go out and look for the last son of the, uh, I believe, Ryan's family. And uh, you know the story of that, if you saw the Tom 
uh, Hank's movie on that. Well, that's what they did, and this is what Jacob is doing with his family, dividing it up so that some part of the seed will be saved. That's what he did on that. Verse 25, and he commanded them, saying, keep yourself at a distance with your camps, and do not come too near too near each other. And if Esau come to one camp and slay it, the other camp at a distance from it will escape him. Verse 26, and Jacob tarried there that night, and during the whole night he gave his servants instructions concerning the forces of his children. Verse 27, and the Most High heard the prayers of Jacob on that day, and the Most High then delivered Jacob from the hands of his brother Esau. Verse 28, and the Most High said, the Most High sent three angels of the angels of heaven, and they went before Esau and came to him. Now, this is the prayer that went before the Most High. The Most High dispatches angels to get to uh, believe to change his mind. Well, let's see in the following scriptures. Let's read this again. And the Most High sent three angels of the angels of heaven, and they went before Esau and came to him. Verse 29, and these angels appeared unto Esau and his people as 2,000 men riding upon horses, furnished, uh, furnished with all sorts of war instruments. And they appeared in the sight of Esau and all his men to be divided into four camps and the four chiefs to them. Now, is this in the book of Genesis? If so, someone point that scripture out to me. Uh, you may comment or hit me up in the chat room or send me an email. Right now, I'm just looking at the book of Jasher in this particular chapter. Let me read that again because you can see the prayers of this righteous man, Jacob. He's concerned about the family being carried on. He sends this prayer up to the Most High. All praises to the Father. Uh, he sends this prayer up. The Father sends and dispatch, or Christ, sends, dispatches three angels. These three angels, uh, let's just say these three angels took on or they cloaked themselves in uh, the appearance of these thousands of 2,000 men. Let's read it again. And these angels appeared unto Esau and his people as two thousand men. Their eyes, they, they their eyes were open in the spirit realm, and they saw two thousand men. Yeah, you can almost say it was like a mirage, but when you see it, you don't know if it's real or not. But they believed what they saw was real, and they weren't going to do anything to Jacob. But we're moving right along. All right, and these angels appeared unto Esau and his people as 2,000 men riding up on horses furnished with all sorts of war instruments. And they appeared in the sight of Esau and all his men to be divided into four camps and four chiefs to them. Verse 30, and one camp went on and they found Esau coming with 400 men toward his brother Jacob. And this camp ran toward Esau and his people and terrified them. And Esau fell off the horse in alarm, and all his men separated from him in that place, for they were greatly afraid. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bag up a minute, Brother Malachi. And one camp went on, and they found Esau coming with 400 men toward his brother Jacob. And this camp ran toward Esau and his people and terrified them. 
and Esau fell off the horse in alarm, and all his men separated from him in that place, for they were greatly afraid. All right, verse 31. And the whole of the camp shouted after them when they fled from Esau. And all the warlike men answered, saying, ooh, read that again. Verse 31. And the whole of the camp shouted after them when they fled from Esau. And all the warlike men answered, saying, 32, surely we are the servants of Jacob, who is the servant of the Most High, who is the servant of the Most High, and who then can stand against us? And Esau said unto them, O then, my Lord, and brother Jacob is your Lord, whom I have not seen for these twenty years, and now that I have this day come to see him, do you treat me in this manner? Verse 33, and the angels answered him, saying, As the Most High liveth, were not Jacob of whom thou speakest thy brother? We had not let one remaining, remaining from thee and thy people, but only, only on account of Jacob we will do Nothing to them. Angels speaking of this. And this camp passed from Esau, angels and the men. And this camp passed from Esau and his men, and it went away. And Esau and his men had gone from them about a league, a league when the second camp came toward him with all sorts of weapons. And they also did unto Esau and his men at the first camp, had done to them. Verse 35, And when they had it to go on, behold, the third camp came toward him, and they were all terrified. And Esau fell off the horse, and the whole camp cried out, and said, Surely we are the servants of Jacob, who is the servant of the Most High, and who can stand against us. Verse 36, and Esau again answered them saying, O then, Jacob my Lord, and your Lord is my brother, and for twenty years I have not seen his countenance, and hearing this day that he was coming, I went this day to meet him, and do you treat me in this manner? Verse 37, and after, and they answered him and said unto him, as the Lord liveth, were not Jacob thy brother, as thou didst say? We have not left a remnant from thee and thy men, but on the account of Jacob, of whom thou speakest, being thy brother, we will not meddle with thee or, or thy men. And the third camp also passed from them, and he, and he still continued his road with his men toward Jacob. When the fourth camp came toward him, and they also did unto him and his men as the others had done. And when Esau beheld the evil which the four angels had done to him and to his men, he became greatly afraid of his brother Jacob. And he went to meet him in peace, making sure that he is meeting his brother in peace. Okay, that's verse 39. We're going to come back with uh, verse 40. we probably going to go over a little bit. Uh, we're going to see how much of verse of chapter 32 we can uh, go into. I do believe we are getting ready to go on to overtime. If you have any questions or comment, while we have eight minutes here left, on the live show, for those of you all who are listening on the phone, you can press 1 on your phone at any time if you have any questions or comments about our show, the editorial, or what is going on with the situation with Trayvon Martin case with George Zimmerman. But I do believe we'll probably go into overtime 
if I don't elaborate too much, I think we can go ahead and finish up on chapter 32. We are now at verse 40. Verse 40. And Esau concealed his hatred against Jacob. Mm. You hear that? And Esau concealed his hatred against Jacob because he was afraid of his life on account of his brother, Jacob. Let's see. Let me read that back again. Verse 40. And Esau concealed his hatred against Jacob because he was afraid of his life on account of his brother, Jacob, and because he imagined that the four camps that he had lit had lightened up on were Jacob's servants. Verse 41, and Jacob tarried that night with his servants in their camps, and he resolved with his servants to give unto Esau a present from all that he had with him and from all his property. And Jacob rose up in the morning, he and his men, and they chose from among the cattle a present for Esau. Verse 42, and this is the amount of the presents which Jacob chose from his flock to give unto his brother Esau. And he selected 240 heads from the flock, and he selected from the camels and asses 30 each. And of the herds, he chose 50 kind. Verse 43, and he put them all in ten droves, and he placed each sort of it, uh, sort by itself. And he delivered to and he delivered them into the hands of tens of his servants, each drove by himself. Verse 44, and he commanded them and said unto them, keep yourself at a distance from each other and put a space between the droves. And when Esau and those who are with him shall meet you and ask you, saying, whose are you and where to do you go? And to whom belongeth all this before you? You shall say unto them, We are the servants of Jacob, and we come to meet Esau in peace. And behold, Jacob cometh behind us. Verse 45, And that which is before us is a present sent from Jacob to his brother Esau. Verse 46, And if they shall say unto you, why do he delay behind you from coming to meet his brother to see his face? Then you shall say unto them, unto them, Surely he cometh joyfully behind us to meet his brother. For he said, I will uh, please him with the presence that goeth to him. And after this, I will see his face. Pre-adventure pre he will accept accept of me. 47. So the whole present passed on in the hands of his servants and went before him on that day. And he lodged that night with his camps by the borders of the brook of Juba. And he rose up in the midst of the night and he took his wives and his maid servants and all belonging to him and he that night passed them over the four Jabbok. Now, I'm not exactly sure about all of this right here. Uh, if someone want to comment on that, or we'll know about it next week as we continue on with this. And when he, verse 48, and when he passed all belongings to him over, over the brook, Jacob was left by himself. And a man met him, and he wrestled with that night unto the breaking of the day. Now, you know who this man that he had wrestled with. 48. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint through wrestling with him. Verse 49. 
And at the break of day, the man left Jacob there, and he blessed him and went away. And Jacob passed the brook at the break of day, and he halted upon his thigh. Verse 50, and the sun rose upon him when he had passed the brook, and he came up to the place of the, his cattle and children. Verse 51, and they went on till midday, and and, with, and while they were going, the present and passing on before them. Verse 52. Verse 52. Y'all hang in there. We just about done. And Jacob lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, Esau was at a distance, coming along with many men, about 400. And Jacob was greatly afraid of his brother. Verse 53. And Jacob hastened and divided his children unto his wives and handmaids, and his daughter Diana he put in a chest and delivered her into the hands of his servant. Verse 54, and he passed before his children and wives to meet his brother, and he, and he bowed down to the ground, yea, he bowed down seven times until he approached his brother. And the Most High caused Jacob to find grace and favor in the sight of Esau and his men. And the Most High had heard the prayer of Jacob. Verse 55, and the fear of Jacob and his terror fell upon his brother's brother Esau, for Esau was greatly afraid of, afraid of Jacob. For what the angels of the Most High had done to Esau, and Esau's anger against Jacob was turned into kindness because, you know why? Because Esau found out who Jacob was because he was blessed. He was blessed in those numbers, and he was afraid. When Esau today know who you are, he will respect you. But if he don't know who you are, y'all know what I'm saying. I'm speaking to the children of Israel right now. When he knows who you are, he will either be a fool and hate you and receive the eternal punishment of it, or he will respect you and know who you are and come along inside you and bless you, and he's going to pick up the blessing and know who you are, and he's going to be blessed because he found out who the true Israelites are, who the true descendants are. It is not them over there, over there that's in the land. It is the children of Israel, Israel that is scattered in the Western Hemisphere as well as all over the earth. But that is a different story. I'm staying on point. Verse 56, and when Esau saw Jacob running toward him, he also ran toward him, and he embraced him, and he fell upon his neck, and they kissed, and they wept. Verse 57, and the Most High God put fear and kindness toward Jacob in the hearts of the men that came with Esau, and they also kissed Jacob and embraced him. Look how the Most High turned this thing around. Verse 58, and also Eliphaz, the son of Esau, with his four brothers, son of Esau, wept with Jacob, and they kissed him and embraced him, for the fear of Jacob had fallen upon them all. Verse 59, and Esau lifted up his eyes and saw the women with their offspring, the children of Jacob, walking behind Jacob and bowing along the road to Esau. Verse 60, and Esau said unto Jacob, who are these with thee, my brother? Are they thy children or thy servants? And Jacob answered Esau and said, They are my children, which the Most High had graciously given to thy servant. Verse 61, And while Jacob was speaking to Esau and his men, Esau beheld the whole camp. And he said unto Jacob, Quist thou, quist us, which did thou get the whole of the camp that I made that I met yesternight? Hmm. And Jacob said, To find favor in the sight of the sight of my Lord, 
it is that which God graciously gave to thy servant. Verse 62, and the press and the present came before Esau, and Jacob pressed Esau, saying, Take, I pray, thee, the presents that I have brought to my Lord. And Esau said, Wherefore is this my purpose? Keep that which thou hast unto thyself. Verse 63, And Jacob said, It is incumbent upon me to give all this, since I have seen thy face that thou still livest in peace. Verse 64, And Esau refused to take the present, and Jacob said unto him, I beseech thee, my Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, then receive my presence at my hand. For I have therefore seen thy face, as thou I have seen a godlike face, because thou wast pleased with me. Verse 65, and Esau, and Esau took the present, and Jacob also gave unto Esau silver and gold and bullion, and he pressed him so much that he took them. Verse 66, and Esau divided the cattle that were in the camp, and he gave the half to the men who had come with him, for they had come on hire. And the other half he delivered Unto the hands of his children. Verse 67. And the silver and gold and, and bellium he gave in the hands of Eliphaz, his eldest son. And Esau said unto Jacob, Let us remain with thee, and we will go slowly along with thee until thou comest to my place with me, that we may dwell there together. Verse 68. And Jacob answered his brother and said, I would do as my Lord speaking unto me, but my Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with their young who are with me go but slowly. For if they went swiftly, they would all die, for thou knowest their burdens and their fatigue. Verse 69, Therefore let my Lord pass on before his servants, and I will go on slowly for the sake of of the children and the flocks until I come to the Lord's place to see it. Verse 70, And Esau said unto Jacob, I will place with thee some of the people that are with me to take care of thee in the road and to bear thy fatigue and burden. And he said, What needed in my Lord, if I may find grace in thy sight? Verse 71, Behold, I will come unto thee to see it, to dwell thee together as thou hast spoken. Go thou then with thy people, for I will follow thee. Verse 72, And Jacob said this to Esau in order to remove Esau and his men from him, so that Jacob might afterward go to his father's house to the land of Canaan. Verse 73, And Esau hawked Hearken to the voice of Jacob, and Esau returned with his 400 men that were with him on their road to Seir. And Jacob and all belonging to him went that day as far as the extremity of the land of Canaan to its borders, and he remained there some time. Well, brothers and sisters, we did it. We ended chapter 32 and we are going to do on Sunday chapter 33 if you all can remind me uh, we will be on 33 if I don't forget and lose my uh, whereabouts we are going to do chapter 33 of the book of Jasher and uh, you can follow along well with that in chapter 33 as well, uh, 33 or 34 as well uh, in the book of Genesis. Uh, just remember, Genesis is only 50 chapters, so something or a lot of detail is going to be left out, and the book of Jasher is 90 chapters. So 
you know, to an extent, it's kind of slightly a little different, but in the book of Joshua, you got more detail. Just remember, Joshua is the one that studied the book of Joshua. So we're a little over and over time. Hey, just want to let you know that we are going to be here, hopefully, hopefully without any technical difficulties, Sunday night. Uh, we may be here at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully we'll do that, but uh, please check our uh, website. If we change the time on that, uh, whether or not it's going to be 7 p.m. or is it going to be 10 p.m. So you can always check the uh, website here at Block Talk Radio to find out what time we're going to be getting up, uh, getting up here on the air. I do apologize for the intro on that. Uh, so much going on, trying to uh, make sure I have everything correct, uh, getting everybody on board, listening to via phone, as well as those of you all who are listening on computer. Uh, got it by myself tonight, uh, doing all these things. Usually I would have an uh, engineer here with me, uh, either my son or my daughter, uh, helping me out uh, with this uh, ministry here. So until next time, I uh, want to let you all know that uh, we will try to get back to doing three shows a week. Uh, we're going to bring on uh, CSI, hopefully on Tuesday night, Crime Scene Investigation. Uh, that is coming back uh, pretty soon, so just stay tuned for that. I'll be having some announcements on it because we've got a lot to do, a lot of book reviews, a lot is going on. We got to get into this word. Times are changing. You see what's going on with the uh, with with the uh, how they look at us. But Israel is waking up. I've heard a report that Antoine uh, Anton Dotson has get, uh, recently got saved and denouncing uh, homosexuality. Uh, he also is an Israelite. He knows the exact truth of who we are, uh, and you all know who the 12 tribes of Israel is. So uh, there's this rapper, I didn't know too much about him, but his name is Chingy, and uh, he has found the Most High as well. So he's writing Hebrew songs about uh, who we are and what we're all about, the 12 tribes, he's recognizing that he's from the tribe of Judah. Just want to remind you real quickly that the Gathering of Christ Church is right here on Blog Talk Radio Network. I am a graduate of the Hebrew Academy, which is ongoing. So if you want more information on the Hebrew Academy, send an email to gathering as one, the number one at AOL.com, and the brothers there with the Gathering of Christ Church can give you more information uh, about the Hebrew Academy uh, or the next Hebrew Academy that is going to be getting on the way. Remember that the Gathering of Christ Church is on Blog Talk Radio four nights a week, if not five. So uh, you can go to G O Blog Talk Radio forward slash G O C C H U R C H. And there you will see a schedule of shows as well as knowledge. Also, I want to thank my brother Jude up for posting our shows on YouTube. We've got an additional 5,000 listeners listening to our message as we get the message out. Uh, right now, the average listeners to listen to our show is pretty close to about uh, 12 to 2,000, 12 to 2,000 people listen to this show right here on Block Talk Radio. We may not listen to it at the same time, but they always come and listen to us and check us out in the archives. So just letting you know, uh, be on the lookout for those changes right here at the Men Empowered Organization, reminding you all who are living in the Law and Hattiesburg, Mississippi area, to listen out for the commentary right here on WJMG Radio, FM 92.1. Also going to let people know uh, we're in the middle of summer where we are doing our promotions in the greater New Orleans area, the New Orleans, Louisiana area. We have some groups down there that we uh, network with, and we share 
the Ministry of the Truth there, as well as Mobile, Alabama, Pensacola, Florida, the beautiful Gulf Coast, Mississippi, and yes, as well as our capital right here in the great state of Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. And we also share our knowledge uh, right there online where people are knowing about the organization of the Men Empowered Organization. It's not about us. It's all about the Most High and what Christ has did. So until next time, this is Brother Malachi wishing you well. And until next time, know who you are. Shalom. We will see you soon in Zion. Child of Israel, I heard the 